breaking news guys Microsoft is potentially purchasing Activision Blizzard uh, betting on them with a 70 billion dollar acquisition this is an article written by uh, New York Times and uh, I thought it was really eye capped capping the fact that it is possible that Microsoft the same company that bought uh, Minecraft a couple years ago and owns the Xbox brand Windows and basically is is a forefather of computer of the computer industry is potentially purchasing Activision Blizzard uh, a joint operation between two very influential uh, video game publishers and designers this is a true blockbuster acquisition which was announced on Tuesday and it would catapult the company into a leading spot in 175 billion gaming industry it is very possible that Microsoft will influence Activision Blizzard into making um, excessive profits in the future which hopefully will be good for them will it be good for the gamers that's left to be seen in the future now I personally believe that this was a power move by Microsoft to try to compete uh, closer to Sony and Nintendo, especially Sony. In the last couple years, Microsoft has seen their console getting outsold and entirely demolished by Sony and their PlayStation. And this is due to a lot of reasons, namely the fact that PlayStation has the heart of many gamers due to its timed or entire exclusives onto the console, making it enticing for console gamers to purchase one console over the other. Exclusives are known to make a psychological effect on consumers. Now this purchase and acquisition could potentially arise some cannibalization in the market as Blizzard Activision owns multiple IPs which directly or indirectly competes with Microsoft's already publishing games. Will this potentially mean a merge into some of these developers or will they compete kind of how EA had Battlefield and Medal of Honor competing against each other? Uh, hopefully not as that endeavor kind of ended Medal of Honor's future. Now a handful of years ago, if you had told me that Microsoft would have purchased Blizzard Activision, I would have laughed at you, thinking that there is no way that in any capacity that firstly Activision would let that happen, and secondly that Microsoft was big enough to purchase Activision. But now that I'm seeing it, uh, in my mind's eye it makes a lot of sense. Activision Blizzard has had a lot of financial issues in the last couple of years, that is why they had merged with Blizzard. And Microsoft is getting bigger and bigger into the industry. Now, it is very possible that some fe federal regulators might raise a brow at this acquisition, as this might mean Microsoft owns a very large stakehold in the gaming industry and potentially becomes a, a certain oligopoly. Keep in mind that Microsoft is valued at more than $2.3 trillion, which is second only to Apple. The takeover of Activision might make Microsoft the world's third largest gaming company by revenue, behind Tencent and Sony, as you know. So this might mean that Microsoft does in fact become uh, Facebook's mythological metaverse as it owns multiple platforms in the gaming industry, multiple it might own multiple markets such as Microsoft Marketplace and Blizzard and the the obvious battle.net and publishes and sells multiple games on the Steam and Epic stores. Now keep in mind this is still in the ideas phase. Microsoft has over 130 billion dollars in cash reserve and was hoping to expand its business. Uh, it looked at acquiring potentially TikTok or even Discord in the past and this was very recently and I still remember. Now we believe that Basically, Microsoft found a target under stress, basically looking at Activision and Blizzard as a company which is getting weakened, a very strong company that is, and realized that it's po very possible they can spend that money wisely on them. Now, my personal perspective for a second here, I think that it is very likely that Microsoft makes 
either multiple acquisitions or one very large one. And if it is a very large acquisition, it's probably going to be Activision Blizzard. It only makes sense. I mean, it's no secret that Microsoft has been looking to expand their marketplace on uh, the Windows and, and Xbox stores. And they've been looking to purchase multiple IPs to make Xbox more enticing to audiences. And I think that Activision Blizzard would be a big phenomenon which might bring gamers back to their side. I personally always really liked Xbox. I really like them in the last 10 years they've been making extreme efforts to bring back their audience that they had lost all these years ago when they announced that the Xbox One would be always always on and would have Kinect always attached. They've since made extreme strides deploying pro-consumer tactics to try to entice audiences and this brought me to the brand. Knowing full well that Blizzard Activision isn't doing so well and hoping that there is a Blizzard revival coming over, I hope that this acquisition does happen in the best of ways. Now I personally play multiple games that uh, Activision Blizzard produce and also Microsoft. I play Halo, I love the Halo franchise, I play Call of Duty, I still play the new Call of Duties, Warzone is amazing, and I did love uh, World of Warcraft, Starcraft as a child. So what I'm hoping is that basically Microsoft is capable of keeping the two brands at ease. Uh, we have things that are very similar, we have uh, World of Warcraft and Age of Empires. We have StarCraft and Halo Wars. These have always been compete. These are directly competing games. And what I think that might happen is we see bundles uh, of these games together because the, the same fans buy these same games. I'm also hoping that developers will be able to learn from each other's mis mistakes. And potentially, Microsoft might be able to directly teach the game engine designers at Activision Blizzard to properly utilize DirectX 12, which has, in my opinion, always been a problem with them. Now, is it possible that we see some uh, IPs which do not end up releasing? That, that's always a case. That's what happened with uh, Microsoft and Scalebound, which was a game that I was personally hyped about as it looked very entertaining and never really ended up coming out because it had so because Microsoft had so many other third-person action games which we're releasing at this time. Overall, this is only really good news, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day.